we as pilots actually go out to sea, meet the ship, board the vessel, talk to the captain, bring it into the port safely, turn it around, put it to whichever berth it's supposed to go to. Before we had the Saab port management app, we would get a phone call at 1700 hours every day. We would have had to be ready with a pen and pad to sort of write down the ship's names as to where it's going, what it's doing, what's the length, what's the draft. It was a long process. And if anything changed after 1700, we would have again get a call and again we would have to go back, change everything out. There was always a possibility of uh, error. Somebody had told you 1730 and you had heard 1700 and you land up here at the wrong time. If it's early, it would be better, but if it's late, it's disastrous. This app actually does a lot of jobs for us, wherein everything is done. We've got everything in front of us. And when it changes, it comes real time. We get an alarm, we acknowledge the alarm. Everybody knows I've seen the change. It's at my fingertips. Ships go from port to port, country to country, have the experience of different dialects, from different accents, different cultures, and therefore a ship's master goes from one unfamiliar place to another. Having systems, having a VTS, having something systematic that the ship can rely on is really crucial for a mariner. A little bit of comfort to the ship's master to say, this is a well-run place, it's a place that I know I'm going to get a service from. From a systems perspective and from a sea perspective, we, we try and make that interface as close as possible so that it's a pleasure for them to come into our ports.